question number 24. It says, which values of p and q will make this function f of x equals x squared when x is less than 1 and p, of x, or p times x plus q uh, when x is greater than 1, both continuous and differentiable at x equals 1. Okay? So, for the function to be continuous, okay, the function value at 1 should equal the function value at 1. Okay? So the function value at 1 from the right hand side should equal the function value from the left hand side. Okay? And for it to be differentiable, the, fun uh, the derivatives must also equal each other. Okay? So the derivative from the left hand side should equal the derivative from the right hand side. Okay? So, let's first deal with continuity. Okay? So, if we plug in 1 okay, into the function value from the left hand side, we plug it into this first equation. Okay? So, it says that 1 squared should equal the function value from the right at 1. Okay? So, plug 1 into the second equation and we get p plus q. Okay? So, now we need to worry about the derivatives. Okay? So, the derivative at 1 from the left hand side, okay? so the derivative of this is going to be f prime of x would be 2x okay, for this first part when x is less than 1 and the derivative of the second equation is p when x is greater than 1. Okay? So, the derivative from the left hand side is this first equation. Okay? So, plug 1 into here and we'll get 2. Okay? Then the derivative from the right okay, at 1 is the second equation. So, 2 should equal p. Okay? So, since we know p equals 2, okay, we can substitute this equation into here, and we'll get 1 equals 2 plus q, okay, and we'll find that q should equal negative 1. Okay? So, if p equals 2 and q equals negative 1, 